Hi dear friends and in this video I would explain you about the functionalities of our latest MIRETCAM Pro Android app which is available on Google Play Store so you can just go there and type MIRETCAM Pro and you can download it I have already downloaded it so this is right here so let us have a quick look how you can use it how you can preserve your data it has a lot of functions i'll explain to you so the screen looks like this once you open it and on the right bottom you see a plus sign just click on the plus sign so you need to uh, enter some of the essential data like demographics kind of data so that uh, you can identify these patients whenever they come back so date of birth whatever we are just uh, entering uh, whatever is coming to our mind at this point so that we can have all this identifier on our report because it generates a report it has a option of a telephone number also because you can directly call from uh, uh, this app itself if patient needs a follow-up so examination date suppose say after two years so once you have filled all this data points then you can just submit it once you sorry i think we have not entered the correct phone number so it picks up that way four nine seven three nine three seven i think that's right so now you see the patient record is created and once it is created and you are ready to image just click on this once you go down you have an examination date click on that you see top right there's a pencil kind of icon you see just click on the pencil icon you will see camera icon here just click on that so these are the three identifiers you will see here because one software works for both of our devices this is a glaucoma device and this is my red cam photo album is something which you can drag if patient already has some photograph with him but we are not explaining that here so let us straight away go for my red cam app now this is an important slide if you really look at different phones have different cameras so ultimately your aim is to bring this image right in the center of this uh, uh, orange kind of circle for to do that you might need to go left side right side you might need to uh, even put your mobile up and down so aim is to this has to be in the center then slowly zoom it and keep zooming it till the inner portion of uh, the lens is, uh, you know, that rim of the lens is hidden. In that way, once you see that, you know, the pictures would be much, much professional. So now I'll explain to you what is R and L. If you really look at on the top, there is a icon called R and L. So that is because uh, Whatever eye you are imaging, you can just click on that because that comes as a print at the end. And this exposure, I will you know, suggest you just keep it at zero because it just increases the brightness of this entire screen. And then it comes as a focus. So we have most of the mo mobile scene now, it is all already auto focusing. So auto focus already is there, but in case sometimes you see that focusing is not happening, you can just go on the manual and if you see with manual with this focus you can drag it you can have a little fine focus at different areas you can see this is working see those vessels on this model i and switch a light is already switch on there if you really look at it if you so that's what is required and if it is not switched on then you can just click on this this is a button that uh, it's kind of a you know, switch on switch off button of that light but we always need a light to be switched on to illuminate fundus so suppose if because it's a 20 diopter lens so image can be inverted so if you are on a sitting position in front of the patient your images are inverted so you can just flip those images but patient is if it is lying down then you can keep them as such so this is another option you know just to make your life a little easier so now for example we have clicked a picture okay we will see this on a live patient but i'm just showing you you know how this application works so we have clicked two pictures now uh, let's take two more pictures with the left one and another one 
Now just go back. Once you go back, you can see, you know, these pictures are already there with right, right, left, left. And once you submit it, so your file, everything is there. Now, in case you want to give a print to any of the patient, or even if you want to print it at your printer, then just click on these, you know, these are three dots right on right top. Just click on this, export PDF. Once you click on export PDF, all those pictures would come here and then you can select some of them or if you want to select all of them, just click select all. And once you select all, then hit on top right export. So once you hit on export, this is the way this fantastic report is generated. You have, uh, you know, whatever identifiers you entered there, those are there and all those four images are here, your signatures. So it's, you know, a standard report. And then again, top, right corner if you want to share it you can print it if you have a wi-fi printer you can email it and the best way is you can share it through whatsapp or whatever way you wish to so this is as easy as it is so this is in brief that how you use our latest android app if you have any question you can write an email to me thank you so much